Boyd. I'm in charge of drama here at Burnage Academy for Boys and I'm going to talk to you about why choosing GCSE drama is a really good option for your son. To briefly introduce you to the course, we look at different aspects of drama through the eyes of a director, a designer or an actor. And the course itself is split into three components. The first one is devising, where it's a combination of practical work and written work and that's 40% of your overall exam grade. The next is where we do work on a script, and this is practical, um, and it's 20%, so you'll either be acting from a script or you'll be a, a design candidate, and you can work alongside the actors and do set design or lighting design or sound design or, or whatever is your particular strength. The final 40% is a written exam, which is where we explore a play and we do it practically as well as writing answers to questions about it. And we also have to watch a piece of theatre and answer questions on that. These questions are generally to do with either directing, designing or acting, which is why we look at these very closely in year nine, should you be deciding that you want to go off and carry on with um, drama at GCSE. The perfect drama student. Well, there are lots of qualities that make you a perfect drama student. First one is, is that you're creative um, and that you have a, some sense of um, artistic vision that you can create an idea and you can bring it to life. You'd be confident. Not too confident though, because very drama is very much about being part of a team. So you have to be confident in the sense that you can talk about your ideas and get up on stage and perform, um, but not so confident that you don't listen to other people. If you're a practical person, someone who doesn't want just spending all your time behind a desk, there's a lot of practical drama at the, in the GCSE. In saying that, you also have to have strong writing skills because there's a lot of written work as well. You have to be able to explain your ideas in an articulate way. You need to be visionary. Like I said, you need to have a vision. It could be what the set's going to look like or what this character's going to be. And you see that and then you can create it. You very much need to be motivated. You need to be able to get up and go. You need to have an idea and say, right, let's try these ideas out. Because sitting and talking about an idea won't get you anywhere. And as I've already said, you have to be a team player. So important. We're all in this together and we all will work our hardest to get the best outcomes possible. Now, people quite often say, right, OK, I don't want to do uh, I don't want to be an actor when I'm older. So why should I do drama at GCSE? Well, aside from the fact that it's a really exciting, creative, vibrant GCSE subject, it allows you to develop skills. And these are the top 10 skills that uh, recruiters, industry are looking for. OK, and this is as of 2021. And so you can see that these skills are absolutely developed within the drama GCSE. Teamwork, communication, time management. Well, you have to work to deadlines. You have to create a play within a certain amount of time. Problem solving, absolutely. It, things happen in rehearsals where something comes up and you have to be able to change, you have to be able to adapt. Um, you have to be creative. You need to be able to lead. You need to say, right, okay, we need to make a decision on this and we'll do it now. You absolutely need to be organized. You need to have emotional intelligence because you're when you're acting, you're putting yourself in other people's shoes, so you have to have empathy. You need to be able to make decisions. You need to be able to work under pressure. So these are really important skills viewed by industry. And these are all skills that are developed whilst doing this GCSE. So yes, you might not go on to be the, the next great Hollywood actor, but that doesn't matter because if you enjoy the subject, then what you'll get out of it is a good grade, but you will have developed these skills that will are transferable into any wider context. So if we're specific about future careers from a GCSE drama, then we're looking at um, you could be a location manager, a proofreader, an actor, a scriptwriter, a broadcast journalist, or a camera operator. So that's just some. If, if you have looked at the Careers Week resources, then you'll have looked at Start, and you'll see that 
by doing a GCSE in drama, it doesn't tie you specifically to any one job. Um, as I've said to you, it's the skills that it allows you to develop it, it, that can be transferred into any context and are, are really, really important. So these are just some of the jobs that you can go into, but there are hundreds and hundreds more that aren't necessarily lo linked to, the, to entertainment. You could go off and be a lawyer, for example. So I just want to really quickly, because not all of you will have had the opportunity to act in the drama studio, given the current situation. So this here is um, a set design from one of the plays we did last year for the practical work. And this is a um, set for Romeo and Juliet. It's not the complete set, it's part of it. Um, and this was designed by one of our last year's year 11s and he worked with a group of actors so he didn't actually act what he did is he talked to them found out what they wanted the play to look like and then he went off and created these ideas so you can see just to break it down that he wanted to show a contrast between two scenes that were performed in a wealthy part of Verona, which is where Romeo and Juliet is set, and he showed this through the design of the fountain. And then in the second scene that they did, there is a, a fight between the two gangs, the Montagues and the Capulets, and so he's got a contrast. He wanted to have the, the, the graffiti, put a rubbish bin steps, and what he also had was bits of um, rubbish strewn around on the ground. Um, and this showed the contrast. So he was working as a designer and he worked closely with the group, came up with this design. He also had a projection on the back wall where he was having um, a telephone conversation and a text conversation between two characters. So he, this, this young man came up with some really creative response. He didn't want to perform, he knew that much. He didn't want to act, but he still had a really good experience it was allowed to be completely creative and did really really well through his use of design so i wanted to show you that a so you could see the space as as it can be when when performing but also because drama gcse isn't just about acting on stage there is so much more to it and it's one of the most enjoyable subjects and experiences um, and I feel really quite privileged to teach it. And I know that the students who study the, the GCSE in drama all get a lot out of it. So I hope that you will want to join us in studying that subject too.